Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lurd back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about astrology, uh, Idris Elba and him uh, contracting the uh, coronavirus. Now, recently, Idris Elba has uh, made some headlines. He's an actor. He's uh, contracted the uh, coronavirus. I don't know to how severe it is or anything, but I was looking at his chart and I'm going to talk about some placements natally and some transits that this may be tied into. Now, the chart was on Esther.com, I believe it was a C rating. It was like rectified from the approximate time. But first thing I want to talk about is interesting. Looking at this chart, though, rectified, okay, sun, he has a sun in Virgo and moon in Leo and a Libra ascendant. The sun, excuse me, sun in Virgo, the basic wants, of course, being connected with work and often working laboriously. And then, of course, you got the moon in Leo that could be blended in, uh, that, that energy may be injected into something uh, with entertainment. And then the Leo, if the ascendant is Libra indeed, it would be, I mean, that perhaps that's manifesting through, at, through the arts, such as acting in this case. He is uh, somebody that obviously has made some news. And the thing about that rectified chart, it puts Libra, at rising at zero degrees so there is a chance he might be like a late uh, virgo rising this is a rectified chart and it was like a c rating so bear that in mind but anyway based on this chart i was looking at some placements natally he does have pluto on the ascendant in this chart and that could indicate uh sometimes physical issues with the physical body uh, which could be connected with a virus because pluto of course is associated with viruses he also has uh, two planets in the uh, in the third house. Uh, Neptune's in the third. The third house can correspond with breathing. It is the house of Gemini in astrology. Uh, Neptune in the third can sometimes indicate dissipation, dissolving of breathing, uh, because Neptune is about dissolving, dissipation. There may be nebulous issues connected with that as well, since we are talking about the planet Neptune. And also Jupiter is in that third house as well and remember that jupiter can be as, as i've expressed in other videos that jupiter can be somewhat paradoxical it could be very strongly benign and benevolent but it could also have a tendency to enlarge and expand and jupiter is in sagittarius so it can really mean expand things on a large level in this case it also is i believe opposite the saturn in uh gemini in his chart and saturn in gemini even by itself though generational generational times could give debilitations that are gemini related which could be can, and breathing can be one of those issues and the opposition to jupiter might distort those issues so um Another thing, too, I noticed that one of the uh, rulers of his third house, um, Mars, uh, would be in, in in the 12th house based on this chart. Again, not to be redundant by, by C rating chart on astro.com. That would put uh, the ruler of the third house in the 12th can sometimes, I would say, give limitations in breathing because, again, going back to the third house, being associated with breathing and going into the 12th and then being placed in the 12th house of limitations. He also has uh, in his uh, chart, uh, Mercury is not far from the 12th house cusp, which could be like, uh, like having it in the 12th house. And Mercury, of course, is connected with breathing. And, uh, and, and again, you could be talking about breathing uh, limitations, issues with breathing, because the 12th house is about uh, limitations. And Mercury being in Virgo would be you know, somewhat worrisome issues, of course, as well with a little more apprehension, because we are talking about the zodiac sign uh, Virgo. Now, another thing that I noticed, too, is that uh, two of the rulers of his sixth house of health, both rulers are in that third house of breathing. So he's got a multitude of things in his natal chart, which were which indicate breathing issues. So it's pretty hard to avoid anything related to breathing. And he's probably and I don't know if he's experienced any breathing issues or disorders with this coronavirus, but it's likely he may at some point because those are one of the common symptoms connected with this. It just shows a greater propensity toward breathing issues or disorders. And you have to understand, I mean, to, I don't mean, I don't know what he, what he's actually experienced of this yet. I haven't really researched it that extensively, but I'm thinking it wouldn't 
surprise me if he will be experiencing some issues with that. And he also has Pisces on the sixth house cusp and Pisces can be connected with diseases that can't be eradicated. Now this will likely dissipate and dissolve on its own, no pun intended, of course, we'll be talking about Pisces energy. But the thing about it is it's still, it shows a greater proclivity toward those issues. He also has a uh, the sun and mars in the 12th house in both of those placements can indicate uh diminished vitality and energy uh it could be being in virgo it could be through overworking and st over stressing things working to just working generally too hard too laboriously i mean you're talking about virgo it wouldn't surprise me if he may have had uh, had some issues like with the spleen or something else that could be virgo related uh Another thing uh, he's also experiencing right now, he's got a transit, uh, as far as transits go, he's got transit Neptune in the sixth house. Transit Neptune in that sixth house can sometimes indicate uh, issues that are health related or just the dissolving of uh, or dissipation of the physical health at that point in time of the transit. And you're talking about, I mean, but Neptune energy Pisces can be rather nebulous or unclear issues. It wouldn't surprise me if he does experience, if he hasn't at this time, experience also some health related issues since we're talking about Neptune Pisces energy and the six has some issues with the feet, the toes, maybe even the lymphatic system, just general weakness uh, at this time. And sometimes it could be just about uh, an accidental drug or chemical assimilation and inadvertent chemical assimilation as well. Transit Neptune is also making a long opposition to his natal Mars at this time as well. And when you have that kind of energy, you're talking about that kind of, that, that aspect, when you have transit Neptune in adverse aspect to your natal Mars, person might often feel a little bit more lethargic, feel more like daydreaming and fantasizing as opposed to actually taking action and doing things. And again, going back to the fact that Mars and the sun are posited in his 12th house in the natal chart. And I don't want to sound like I'm being overly foreboding or morbid. That this would be very unlikely. But I did notice that uh, he also has um, he, he's got the uh, transit uh, Pluto very close proximity to the natal north node. So it just a, it could be a critical time. Pluto is a planet that is associated with death, but in this case, it's probably just more like what might seem like a lot life and death issues, just crisis in general. It could be about having to just to confront an issue with a virus because Pluto is associated with viruses. And that's all it likely means. It is in the fourth house, though, of, end, of the end of life. And he does have the other transits, uh, this, the, I believe the other, uh, the transits in Capricorn right now are all in his fourth house, if I'm not mistaken. But again, this is based on a little bit of a speculative chart because it is a rectified chart, I believe a C rating based on, an, you know, from approximate, you know, rectified from like an approximate birth time or what have you. But the thing about it is when we're talking about when the North Node is involved in transit, it can often be about issues that one may have to address and confront. And you're talking about uh, transit Pluto very close to his natal North Node right now. That could be the way that may pan out for him is that it just may simply be about confronting an issue with this virus, one that can be being in Capricorn a little bit depressing, causing and maybe feel a little bit, you know, despondent or melancholy, but this is, but that's really all an all likelihood how that's going to manifest. But he just has, I mean, a lot of indicators again in his chart for the breathing, uh, uh, possible breathing issues. And he also has at this time, he's going to uh, transit North Node is very close to his can, uh, zodiac sign cancer mc right now and when you have a transit like that it's hitting getting close to your mc that could be about issues uh with the north node issues of one they have to confront regarding their career as far as being dedicated and being in cancer being dedicated and devoted and showing tenacity in one's career related uh efforts and nurturing it at this time uh as well so that's basically what i wanted uh to touch up on 
at this time and then later at later on I don't know if it's going to be later in this calendar year or the next year but transit north node is going to be uh, conjunct his uh, his natal uh, Saturn in Gemini as well so there might be some other issues that might be coming up in the future regarding uh, breathing issues because again Saturn in Gemini even by itself at times can be about limitations that are Gemini related debilitations Gemini related which wouldn't exclude breathing but it could also be issues with the arms the hands the shoulders the fingers maybe with communications or issues where maybe he's going to wind up spreading himself too thin career wise because Saturn can be the career in Gemini of course could uh, really dissipate or dissolve the self through lack of an integrating purpose so you understand what I'm saying in the ninth house something that can very well be globally uh, communicated but having Saturn in the in the ninth house it's not a surprise that his career is something that is getting him some global uh, recognition so and, and he does um, and I'm sure with that Gemini energy he's probably adapted to manifold roles and and really I'm sure he's an outstanding and stellar actor and I wish him the best that he does get through this and all likelihood we know that most of these cases with the coronavirus are not going to manifest in anything perilous or life-threatening but I just want to end this video people that with people that have anybody out there you know that you're scoffing at this or making light of this issue it really is a little bit bigger issue I think than a lot of people realize so I mean you don't want to have distorted fears or anything but at the same time take your precautions wash your hands vigorously at all when whenever you need to um, in, in really in, in just stay clear of people that are that are coughing in your area and I, I think that's really what you need to worry uh, about at this time and not really go overboard with it unless you're in like an area which is a very a high risk uh, for this so anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment until next time people Edwin Leonard saying stay well